My name is Roger Stipkak, with X50 Pilot Car Services. Uh, we're located out of uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, our primary duty for this uh, super load was to conduct a route survey for a load that was 20 foot high, 20 foot wide, and 100, 219 feet long. I was contacted by D&G Heavy Haul out of Indiana to attempt to move a dryer drum from the Port of Erie, Pennsylvania to Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. During this time, the load being so large, there were several obstacles in the state of Pennsylvania. Once you get above 16 feet, uh, it becomes an issue of uh, bridge heights, so you just can't take it down the interstate. I sent out on their a quest to uh, find a route that another two companies had failed and said it was impossible to move the load from Erie to Lock Haven. Um, during this move, uh, there was approximately 10 companies that assisted from everything from wire lifting, light removal, uh, traffic control, the state police assisted with us, and PennDOT. Each had their own unique responsibility during the move. Our company was responsible for wire uh, and guiding the load through all the obstacles. Prior to our moves, we had a lot of safety meetings. Um, we discussed the base previous moves, what we had encountered, if there was any kind of issue, we discussed it, or if we were going to come into some type of um, obstacle, we knew the plan going into it. Um, the communication was absolutely phenomenal between all the teams and, that were involved, and uh, like I said, we were able to move this 319 some miles, odd miles, to um, Lock Haven without any incidents or, or any reportable uh, injuries. Also down in uh, the area of State College in Milesburg, we had uh, one major obstacle that we had to get around, which was uh, a bridge, a low bridge. It was about 16 foot high. It wasn't a normal bridge where you could just ramp on, ramp on, off. It, has a, it had a clover leaf design to it. And um, it took some coordination with uh, the truck driver and um, some engineering to scale models to see if we could maneuver this vehicle around the bridge. So what we did is um, at that bridge we were able to use what ram space we had, turn the load completely around and have it facing one south, uh, disconnected our push truck and then turned it around and then it pulled the load backwards up and across the bridge it was, had a cement divider on. Um, they went across a bridge and a railroad bridge to the other side of the mountain where we disconnected and pulled forward, removed some overhead structure signs, and were able to continue north on our, uh, our journey. Uh, that was a major obstacle with it in, in the route. From the time that I was assigned to do it to the time that the engineering company was completely done at the bridges and we have a, had an approval route. It was approximately a year and a half in the planning. We decided to move and we got the clearance to move from Pennsylvania Department of Transportation in December of 2019 and we, we started our move and it took us 12 days to go from Erie to Lock Haven. But once we got it there, um, the company was extremely happy with us because they had told us that two other companies prior to this could not do it and that we were the only company that was able to accomplish this without costing the owner of the load to put it back on the ship, send it back up to St. Lawrence and then down out to Atlantic and bring it in from Baltimore. 